The purpose of the FL142 is to show all assets and debts that you and your spouse own. In the first section, write your name, your telephone number, address, including city, state, and zip code. And in the attorney for box, write in pro per. In the second section, write San Joaquin. In the third section, Put your name next to petitioner and your spouse's name next to respondent. In the fourth section, check petitioners. The rest of the form will list all of your known community and separate assets or debts. Include things even if they are in the possession of another person. If you contend an asset or debt is separate, put P for petitioner or R for respondent in the first column to indicate to whom it belongs. If enough space is not provided on a question, use a continuation sheet numbered to show which item is being continued. Categories are item number, asset or debt description, separate property, date acquired, current gross fair market value, and the amount of money owed for encumbrance. Item numbers range from 1 through 27 and all must be filled out. If an item number does not apply to you, Write none for the asset description and leave the rest of the column categories blank. The separate property column can be left blank if the item was acquired during the marriage. If it is a contended item, such as an item that was acquired before or after the marriage or anything that either received as a gift or by inheritance at any time, write P for petitioner claiming it as yours or R for respondent claiming it as your spouse's. The date acquired column is when you purchased or received an item. The current gross fair market value is the value of the property as of date of filing out this paperwork. The amount of money owed or encumbrance is anything not fully paid off. Fill out item numbers 1 through 27. I will give a couple of examples. Your answers will be different from mine. Item 1. Real Estate. Write street addresses and attach copies of deeds with legal descriptions and latest lender's statement. Date acquired is when the property was purchased. The current gross fair market value is the value of the property as of date of filling out this paperwork. The amount of money owed or encumbrance is the amount needed to pay for the rest of the property. Item 2. Household furniture. Furnishing appliances. The respondent owed a queen-size bed before the marriage, and it will be contended as their property, so an R will be put in the separate property column. Item 3. Jewelry, antiques, art, coin, collections, etc. This can be any type of collection that has monetary value. List whose property it was, the initial date acquired, and the current gross fair market value. Let's pretend that item number 4 vehicles, boats, trailers, doesn't apply to us, you would write none in the assets description and leave the rest of the categories blank. You do not need to write an NA or zero in the other columns. Item numbers 19 through 25 ask about the debts between you and your spouse, including student loans, taxes, support arranges, loans, credit cards, and any other debts. Write down a description of the debt. If the debt occurred during the marriage, leave separate property column blank. If contended, write the respective P or R value. Include how much is still owed to the debt and the date that the debt was incurred. Then, total all your debts and put the amount in item number 26. If you needed to add additional pages during this process, write down how many pages you are attaching in item number 27. Then date, print, and sign your name at the bottom of page 4. So, the first 17 item numbers are asking about assets that you and your spouse own. After filling them out, total the current gross fair market value and amount of money owed or encumbrance columns and put the amount for both fields in item number 18.